Leah Adams, and my association with melanoma is I'm a stage 1A melanoma survivor and a daughter to a metastatic melanoma fighter, my father, and I was diagnosed back in October of 2019. So my journey started back in 2019. My father was actually first diagnosed stage zero a month before my melanoma in October of 2019. Um, and so, you know, we just kind of um, learned about melanoma through him. And then I was diagnosed a month later. Mine was a stage worse than my dad's at the time. So it was very scary to our family. Um, luckily, my melanoma was caught early and I was just treated with a uh, wide local excision with a sentinel lymph node biopsy and just routine every three month skin checks after that. Um, melanoma completely changed my life and I started taking more care of my largest organ, which is the skin. And then I thought that melanoma was over with until two years after my diagnosis. Um, my dad got diagnosed with stage four melanoma um, in the brain and lungs. And he was scheduled for treatment to do immunotherapy and radiation. And after two years of treatment, um, he currently is stable in his brain and lungs myth out there that only older people get skin cancer, specifically melanoma, and that's completely false. Younger and younger people every single day are getting diagnosed with melanoma and skin cancer. That is why it is so important that we are here for advocacy days, influencing policy and change, not only on a state level, but a countrywide level. The more we share our stories and the more we use our voice, we can make a difference in melanoma together. Being a caregiver for somebody, especially with advanced melanoma, is challenging, yet it's also so special because you are able to understand the challenges and the struggles that they go through, but also be there to support them. And you learn how to be become a advocate for them as well as understand and practice empathy and so it really becomes a team effort fighting melanoma together and making sure that their voice and their journey is told and heard um, especially going through doctors visits and doctors appointments it's so important to do it as a family and a team rather than having the individual patient do it alone um, the thing that I am most excited about the MRF Advocacy Days is connecting with other melanoma survivors, caregivers, and advocates that I've connected with on social media that I am now able to meet in real life. It is an amazing experience and so special to me.